What's up guys? Today we're going to remove some creases from some badly beat, extremely expensive, oftentimes considered overpriced, overhyped, retro Jordan 1s in the rust pink from Miami Art Basel. For those of you that are new, this is Vintage Kicks Gallery. So we're going to use a new method to get rid of this creasing. Traditionally, we would use an iron, uh, we would stuff the toe box and put a t-shirt on there, get it wet, or use a hand steamer. But today, we're going to use a product called Angelus Shoe Stretch. And if you're not familiar with this, by the time this video ends, I guarantee you're going to order some. So to get started, what I'm going to do is soak the area with the creasing. And we're gonna let that dry. And while we let that dry, let's take a look at how bad this creasing really is. So we've got our work cut out for ourselves. All right. Next thing we wanna do is remove these laces. And the reason why I sprayed the stuff first and then removed the laces is I think it's always a good idea to give it a few minutes to kind of soak in the leather. After all, we're going to be doing multiple treatments of this, but I feel that the more you use, the safer it is. And guys, we're gonna use so much heat on these that if we left the laces in, they would either melt or catch on fire. Ask me how I know. All right, get these out of here. All right, now that those are out, we're gonna place them to the side and I'm going to apply more of the shoe stretch. As I said, the more you apply, the better or safer this product is gonna turn out. And I have that pretty well soaked. The next thing I'm going to do is stuff the toe box. This is important because you want some pressure in there so that when we do apply the heat and it shrinks down, it shrinks around the mold and takes out the creases. So let me grab a pair of old undies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in there pretty good. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you stuff to the very end of the toe box. A lot of times when you put this in there, it kind of kinks up and then the uh, front of the toe box doesn't get any pressure on it. So let's make sure we do a good job in here, get it really tight. And that's looking pretty good. So once we get that in there, you can kind of manipulate it as needed. And we're gonna go ahead and spray just a little bit more. And now comes the dangerous part. And I've said this in previous videos, please do not try this on an expensive pair of shoes your first time out. Chances are you're gonna burn either the leather, the stitching, uh, melt the sole. If you didn't take the uh, laces out, you're gonna catch those on fire. Or I've even seen the tongue melt. So that's about, you know, that should give you an idea how much heat we're actually applying. So let me grab my trusty heat gun. And for this, I'm going to let the heat gun warm up and I'll tell you why. I want the heat gun to be at its max heat, but I don't want it spraying a lot of air on here and prematurely drying the uh, shoe stretch before we get the heat. After all, heat is what's gonna do this. So another trick I have here is to tuck the tongue in so we don't have any uh, risk here. If you're really worried about it, you can put tin foil over that too. That really helps. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on, let it heat up. All right, and here goes nothing. What I wanna do is pick out one crease at a time. I wanna slowly go over it with the heat gun. And then as I see the crease starting to come up, I apply more direct heat. And I basically take this right to the edge before I burn the leather.
All right, one down. Now I'm going to continue to reapply. And as you can see, this leather is so hot, it's steaming. So now we're just gonna work our way down and hit every single one of these creases. Tell you what this is like magic watching it happen i've got the overhead cam going but i don't know if this is going to show this in true detail but it is quite satisfying Right now, see the smoke coming up? That means we're getting there. Gonna continue to apply this. Tackle some of these. And guys, working with OGs is a lot easier when doing this because the leather's higher quality. Some of these new retros, the, well, I'm just gonna call it questionable uh, as far as whether the leather is genuine or what exactly they're giving us. But this stuff has a tendency of being a little bit flimsy and a little bit weak. So take that in mind when doing this and uh, be careful. More smoke, all right. Now I'm gonna hit the inside. And guys, we are about 90% there. It is looking good. I don't know if you can see that yet. I'll get you a close up in a second, but I just want to finish the really hard creasing here. Then we'll give them a quick cleanup because this stuff does tend to darken a little bit when you use the heat. Uh, don't be alarmed, it comes off. So we are going to get it all fixed up before I actually show it to you. And there's so much heat that even holding this shoe while I do it, it's painful. Whoo, this is looking good, guys. All right, I see one more very faint remnant here, which I'm gonna hit one more time. Looking good, okay, let's put this down not to set anything on fire and let's pull out our uh, skimpies here give the top a quick wipe down oh yeah can you guys see it very very nice all right let's get these cleaned up here and I am going to relace them and show you guys the reveal. So give me a second to get these laces in.
All right, we're back, we're laced up, and check it out. We have a crease-free toe box. What a dramatic difference. And these just went from looking beat to straight heat. And I don't know if you guys have checked the prices on these lately, but holy cow, they're expensive. I think the lowest price I saw was $4,500, and some sizes, people are asking up to $15,000 for these now. So, really crazy uh, for those of that don't know these are extremely limited they were available during art basel in miami they had a botched release that was supposed to take place at a hotel and they ended up dropping them at a random location on a yacht instead um, no confirmed numbers on how many were produced but i've heard rumors uh, around 700 i don't know if that's both colorways per colorway or what but either way extremely limited so let me know if you guys have any questions. This stuff, again, is called Angelus Shoe Stretch. It's very inexpensive. You can go to angelusdirect.com. Had Angelus actually return emails and uh, basically talk to us, we would have an affiliate link. So if you're watching Angelus, hit me back. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Have a good one. See you next time.